So, you're planning a trip to the futuristic city of Dubai. Well, Dubai is a vibrant and exciting city that offers something for everyone. From towering skyscrapers to stunning beaches and world-class shopping. Being in this city feels like you're in a life-size Disneyland and there's just so much to do with so little time. That's why I made this video to share with you some of the best things that I did while I was in Dubai and I'll be sharing a few hacks and tips so that you can save some money and make the best of your upcoming itinerary to Dubai. Itinerary, it's a hard word to say. So without further ado, let's get started with where you're going to be staying. The two most popular places to stay at are downtown Dubai where most of the tourist attractions are and the Dubai Marina. But given the fact that they're in the popular areas of Dubai, you'll be paying higher prices. So we stayed at the Radisson Blue which costs around $170 per night. There's a third area that you can stay at which is slightly far off but it has a lot of budget options and that's an area called Deira where we stayed at a random hotel called Fortune Hotel for just $80 a night because we were running out of money. Yep, make sure you have your budget all planned out because if you don't, you'll be like us and you'll start running out of money because you spent a lot. Next up, getting around Dubai, which is extremely easy. <laughs> Yo dudes, check it out. I just got myself the latest and greatest fully specced out Aston Martin. This right here is my new ride Get out and- of here. The metro and buses are well connected to all tourist attractions and it's very affordable. A trip will cost you 2 to 7 dirhams but you can get a day pass card with unlimited trips for 20 dirhams. We made sure that the hotels we stayed at were a close walk to the metro stations, that way we could save on transport and spend more on other things. If you don't want to use a metro then taxis are a great way to get around, they're slightly expensive, however if you get an app called the Kareem app, it's like the Dubai Uber, prices are a lot cheaper on that app. With that out of the way, it's time to start exploring Dubai and for us on our first day we went straight to downtown to check out Dubai's number one highlights, the Burj Khalifa and the Dubai Mall. Standing at a staggering 828 meters, the Burj Khalifa is the tallest building in the world and offers breathtaking views of the city. You can visit the observation deck on the 124th floor for about 40 bucks or you can go to the highest level which I think is the 140 something floor for 103 bucks. That's a steep difference. But you're following the Adventure Sync channel and I'm here to give you so much value. I have another option which I'll share later on in the video. So hold on to that money for now and let's go to the Dubai Mall. It's right next to the Burj Khalifa and it's one of the largest shopping centers in the world. With over 1500 stores in this mall, you can literally shop until you drop. However, I found that prices at this mall are a little higher than other malls in Dubai, mainly because it's a tourist attraction. So if you want to do some serious shopping, I recommend you save some bucks and shop at the Mall of the Emirates or the City Center Mall in Deira. The Dubai Mall has tons of really cool and trendy looking restaurants and quite a number of interesting attractions like the Aquarium, which is home to over 140 species of marine life, including sharks, rays, and colorful fish. Visiting the aquarium will cost up to 50 bucks depending on the season that you're going in, but I highly, highly recommend that you book, skip the line tickets way in advance so that when you get to the mall, you're not standing in long, treacherously long lines. We honestly didn't know about the massive lines and so we couldn't make it to the aquarium. However, we did see the aquarium from the outside and enjoyed it for free. Not as fun as the experience would have been if we did go inside, but still very interesting to see an aquarium in a mall. The mall also has tons of free attractions like the indoor waterfall and the dancing fountain display that takes place every one hour in the evening. Oh my god, wow, the way they coordinate the music with the lights and the water, that was amazing. Alright, remember when I said that you should hold on to your money instead of going up to the top of the Burj Khalifa? Well, welcome to the Dubai Frame. The Dubai Frame is a relatively new addition to the city skyline. We went here on our second day and it's a very interesting structure. It's gold plated in the shape of a frame that stands at 150 meters tall and 93 meters wide. And I personally think it offers better views than the Burj Khalifa. On one side, you can see the older parts of the city while on the other side, you can see all the modern skyscrapers, the futuristic city of Dubai. 
It's such an interesting contrast. And when you're at the top of the frame, there's this glass feature that when you step on, it kind of like turns from opaque to transparent and you can see the bottom. It's very exhilarating and scary and fun at the same time. So you should definitely check that out. Once you're on the other side of the frame, you'll enter this sort of small museum area where they showcase to you what old Dubai looked like, what their present is and what they want their future to be. So in as well as getting to see awesome views from the top, you also get a museum experience. All that for just $14. And that's why you follow the Adventure Sync channel. After visiting the frame, we jumped onto the metro and hit up one of Dubai's latest attractions, the Museum of the Future. You guys, when I say this building is wow, Wow. They nicknamed it the most beautiful building in the world. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to enter and see, but I've read that they have really futuristic exhibitions that would blow your mind. Please make sure to book in advance, again, at least two weeks in advance, and I'll leave all the links below where you can make your bookings so that when you get to the destination, you don't get disappointed because your dates are not available. That's kind of what happened to us and it sucked. So make sure you book everything in advance. Dubai is a really popular place, guys. The next place we checked out that I really loved was the Dubai Marina. So the Dubai Marina has a beautiful waterfront promenade. Now you can try to fit it in on your second day after the museum. I'd highly recommend you get to the marina in the evening and stay there to watch it light up in the night. It's such a vibe. When we got there, we rented bicycles using the Kareem bike app. And honestly, it was such a fun way to experience the marina. There's tons of activity happening along the beach. For us, we happened to stumble upon a free cooking and food tasting event. I was pleasantly surprised because I love free stuff, especially if it's in Dubai. There's loads of restaurants overlooking the marina and we ate at this Turkish restaurant. It was quite pricey, but I highly recommend it. Oh my gosh, the food was so good. And their baklava. Oh my gosh, I wanna go back to Dubai Marina. Take a swim at the beach as you wait for the marina to light up. And when it does, you can take a ride on the largest Ferris wheel in the world, inspired by the London Eye. Again, remember to book in advance. On our third day, we shopped in the morning and then headed to Old Town Dubai in the evening. I'm actually really glad that we decided to go there in the evening because as we were exploring the traditional architecture and then making our way across the creek, it was kind of like we landed in Aladdin while the sun was setting and everything just looked so beautiful. It's kind of like, I can show you the world vibes. Oh, so beautiful. Old Town Dubai is the historic heart of the city, offering a glimpse into Dubai's past. All right, so I mentioned crossing the creek. We did that on this traditional boat called an Abra, and that's when we got to the souks and the markets, where we explored and enjoyed all the beautiful spices that were out on display. And there was this one shop that we went to in particular, where the shop owner was so friendly. He was showing us all the different spices he had, making us smell the menthol, and he was just explaining what each spice does it was such a fun experience and he gave us some huge discounts so just check out this shop over here if you want to go to I highly recommend you go to that shop super friendly guy and also crazy thing he was giving us so many things for free on top of what we bought at the souks you'll also get to the gold souk where you can see some crazy record-breaking stuff like the largest ring in the world i think it's the largest necklace over here we also got snuck away into a shop where they made us try on traditional arabic outfits which looked super cool i swear i could be a very good looking arabic man there's lots of shopping that you can do at the souks and there's amazing street food that you can try here we ate loads of shawarmas had masala tea it was such an amazing experience and I highly recommend. On our final day, we did a desert safari tour. It's basically a day trip where you go into the desert and you have a couple of different activities you can choose from. So we did some dune bashing where you get into a land cruiser. It just drives so fast over the sand dunes. You feel like you're going to die. There's other activities like camel riding or getting into dune buggies and riding them yourself. After that, you get to enjoy a beautiful sunset before you go into this Arabic setup camp and you watch belly dances and fire shows as you're having dinner. 
Now for me, unfortunately, the tour company that we did this with, I didn't enjoy the experience that much. I felt like it was too sped up and it wasn't authentic. But however, after coming back from Dubai and watching other YouTube videos, I've seen other tours where they give you a more exclusive experience. It will be more authentic and you can do a lot more during your time in the desert. So that's why I've still added this activity to the list of this video because I don't want you guys to go and book the wrong tour like we did. So I'll leave a couple of links in the description box for you guys to check out. You're welcome. And there you have it, the perfect Dubai itinerary that will allow you to experience the best of the city from its modern landmarks to the cultural heritage. And I hope this video has helped you in your planning to Dubai. Let me know in the comments below where you're most excited about visiting. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.